Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from Bayes theorem. They have given three urns, one, two, three, and the number of white, black, and red color balls present in the each urn is listed below. Now, one urn is chosen at random, and two balls are drawn, and they happen to be one white and one red. So, let's name the event E as getting one white and one red so e is getting one white and one red so already we know that e happened so we have to write in the denominator and what we want we have to write in the numerator so the question they are asking what is the probability that they came from the urn 1 2 and 3 so three part of the question is there the first one we have to find from the urn 1 so we got one white and one red when we take two balls and we want to know what is the probability that it come from the urn 1 so we are going to write the formula for this expression for that we write the numerator part into its reciprocal p of e by u1 now whole division we have to write the total probability which is p of u1 into p of e by u1 plus p of u2 into p of e by u2 plus p of earn 3 into p of e by earn 3 now there are three urns, so product of getting each urn is 1 by 3. Now P of E by U1 is from U1 getting 1 white and 1 red. 1 white will come from 1 white and 1 red will come from 3 red. So totally the probability is 1C1 into 3C1. 1C1 into 3C1 divided by the total number of balls present is 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is 6. So 6C2 and whole division, this term we have to copy as it is 1 by 3 into 1C1 into 3C1 by 6C2 plus P of U2 is 1 by 3 and from earn to getting E that is from earn to getting 1 white and 1 red that comes from 2 white and 1 red. So 2C1 into 1C1. 2C1 into 1C1 whole division. The total is 2 plus 1 plus 1 which is 4. From 4 we take 2. So 4C2. And the last one is P of U3 is 1 by 3. And we are getting 1 white and 1 red. 1 white comes from 4 white and 1 red comes from 3 red. So 4C1 into 3C1. So we write here 4C1 into 3C1 whole division. Total it is 4 plus 5 plus 3 which is 12. So 12C2. Now the common terms we can cancel. This 1 by 3 we can cancel everywhere. And this simplification the total number is not same, so we cannot cancel the common denominator. So 1C1 is 1, 3C1 is 3, 6C2 is 6 into 5 by 1 into 2. The whole division 1 into 3 by 6 into 5 by 1 into 2 plus 2C1 is 2, 1C1 is 1, 4C2 is 4 into 3 by 1 into 2. Plus 4C1 is 4, 3C1 is 3, 12C2 is 12 into 11 by 1 into 2. Now we can cancel this. This is 3. Again we can cancel this 3. The same way we can cancel this and we can cancel this also. And we can cancel this and 2 and 2 also we can cancel. We can cancel this is 6. And after cancelling this, this becomes 2. And again cancelling this becomes 2. So finally we left with the numerator. 1 by 5 
and in the denominator it is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 3 plus 2 by 11. We have to take LCM. So numerator 1 by 5 is written as it is. Now the LCM is the product of 5, 3 and 11. So with this 1 we multiply the other two numbers 3 into 11 plus with this 1 we multiply 5 and 11 and with this 2 we multiply the other 2 which is 5 and 3. So we can cancel this 5 and 5 then this entire term we are going to simplify. In the numerator we have only 1 and here it is 33 plus 55 plus 30 whole divided by 33. Now again this is 1 by when we add this it is 118 by 33. Now this will be taken as a reciprocal with 1. So it is 33 divided by 118. So totally the answer is 33 by 118. Now in the same way we can evaluate the other part that is already what we have taken is found to be white and red that is E we know already. We want to find what is the part that it is from the earned to. So in the same way we are going to write the formula. So what we need will come in the numerator P of U2 and what we know or what already occurred will come in the denominator and the formula is P of U2 into P of its reciprocal E by U2. Now the total probability will be same that is P of U1 into P of E by U1 plus P of U2 into P of E by U2 plus P of U3 into P of E by U3. Now already in the first subdivision we have substituted all the values. So everything we can take from this expression itself. So now the entire denominator will be same and in place of the numerator this second term will come because the term what we have written is this expression p of u2 into p of e by u2. So in the numerator this 1 by 3 into 2c1 into 1c1 by 4c2 will come. So we will substitute here 1 by 3 into 2c1 into 1c1 divided by 4c2 whole division this entire denominator will come that is 1 by 3 into 1c1 into 3c1 1 by 3 into 1c1 into 3c1 by 6c2 and second term is this term 1 by 3 into 2c1 into 1c1 by 4c2 plus again 1 by 3 into we have 4c1, 3c1, 12c2. So 4c1 into 3c1 divided by 12c2. So here again we can cancel the common 1 by 3 which is present in all the terms. The rest of the terms we are going to evaluate. Even the simplified terms we can take from here. After simplification we get this. So in the numerator we will be getting 1 by 3. So let us write 1 by 3 here. And in the denominator, it is the same thing. 1 by 5, 1 by 3, 2 by 11. 1 by 5, 1 by 3, 2 by 11. Now we will take LCM. So this 1 by 3 is written as it is. And even the LCM is 5 into 3 into 11. So here it is 3 into 11 plus 5 into 11 plus 2 into 5 into 3. So it cancels this 3 and 3 and it is 1 by after simplification is 118 by 55 that will go as a reciprocal product. So 1 into 55 by 118. So P of earn 2 by E is 55 by 118. Now the third part we do not have to do in the same way. We can find P of U3 by E 
by taking 1 minus from the total probability we are going to subtract the other one that is u1 by v plus p of u2 by e and already we got the values so I am going to substitute here first one is from here it is 33 by 118 so 33 by 118 plus 55 by 118 so this is in a separate bracket after simplification this is 1 minus 88 by 118 so we take 118 so when we take LCM this is 118 minus 88 so finally we get this as 30 by 118